Hello everybody from Paparazzi Land. Welcome back. So here's a, here's a memory from six years ago. There's Dave putting bunny ears on my mom. Because that's just who my husband is. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's go into Paparazzi and see what's new in Paparazzi Land. Now I'm pretty sure that Pink Friday is being announced because you guys have been blowing up my my instant messages and other stuff about it so our hearts are in overdrive today paparazzi pink friday so um apparently today's pink friday i don't know exactly what that means but here it is because this was the thing place a qualifying order to receive these gorgeous pieces and a darling pink bag for free it's not free you have to pay for your order and then you have to sit on the inventory in the hopes that it might sell. So it's not free, paparazzi. And I'm sorry, uh, the spellbinding sparkle in the iridescent oil slick and the iridescent millionaire ring and the stupid toast to perfection in pink and gold blingy hoops and, of course, the brass Miss Universe. No. And the quilted bag? Cheap shit. All of this is cheap shit, you guys. And why would you spend money on all of this cheap shit? I don't know. And then we sure love Pink Friday. And we sure love surprises. Stay tuned. Rose gold and ugly as fuck. Okay? But stay tuned. Oh, look. A Muppet threw up on her shoe. So she's wearing pleather pants and a rich woman's slippers. Because when I see those high heels, I think of uh, a rich woman in a movie from the 1960s with those fluffy house slippers, but they're stilettos. And she's wearing the millionaire ring with iridescent oil slick. Like, oh, got to get my hands on that. Oh, my God. No, you don't. Oh, my God. This is so ugly and stupid. Happy Pink Friday. For more details, visit paparazziaccessories.com. We'll get there in a minute. <clears throat> But here's the video. Okay, that dress in the middle is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, do you guys recognize where this commercial is being made right now? It's in the corporate closet where Misty does her sneak peeks. That is completely in the corporate closet where Misty does her sneak peeks, okay? So I'm going to mute it, but pay attention to the background. Misty Kirby's shoes, Misty Kirby's corporate closet, Misty Kirby is having those people wear the what? Blinged out accessories and everything that may drop today. There's Miss Universe. There's the Toast to Perfection. Oh, ooh, ah. Oh. And that stupid quilted bag that they probably got for cheap from their manufacturer. And yeah, look, I got a near dozen oil slicky big gemstone around my neck that is so freaking heavy. And that dress in the middle just reminds me of a really bad prom dress. But yeah, let's show off the glitzy by association in gold yeah pink friday yay so that's something that's super duper exciting we sure love new jewelry paparazzi accessories what pink friday came early seriously and here's another thing did you see what arrived in our shop today Check out these incredibly soft, luxury, custom-made. They're not custom-made. They're made in mass. Minky Couture Blankets featuring the paparazzi crown. This blanket is a cozy must-have for the winter season, and they are available to paparazzi consultants only. So if you want this minky blanket, you better sign up. Well, I'm going to show you guys how much this stupid minky blanket is, okay? Because one of you guys sent me a picture of what it would cost in your back office. So let's make this nice and big and let's let's blow this up if we can. 
paparazzi minky blanket. The monster size is $239. And the adult size is $179. No thank you. Who in their right mind would spend $418 for these stupid blankets? You don't get any personal volume with it. In fact, you get jack shit with it. But yeah, they won't last long. So to my to my uh, contribute uh, my contributor uh, that sent me this, tell me how long they last. I would love to know when those actually sell out because that blew my mind this morning when I read that email. So you guys are blowing my mind all over the place. But yeah, Pink Friday. Now let's see. Oh, we've got the fashion fix show off. All right, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So she's wearing Fiercely Fifth Avenue. It's a pearl necklace with pearl bracelets and a very oversized and ugly pearl ring with bows. Ooh. So exciting. So gorgeous. So cute. Not really. So let's go to promotions and talk about Pink Friday, shall we? So they're still talking about Customer Appreciation Month, but here's all the Pink Friday stuff. Okay, Pink Friday. With a qualifying order of 100 PV. Now remember, you guys, every item you buy from your back office is worth 2 PV, unless you're buying Z Collection. Those are worth 5 PV. So let's see, 50 pieces times $2.75 $137.50 plus tax on the full $5 value. So uh, let's clear this out real quick. So 5 times 50 for me, that's $250. So uh, that's, an extra, that's an extra what? $27 for me for the tax. So $137.50. Okay, 137 plus 50 plus $27. That's $164 for me. That's $164.50. If you live in the state of Washington, hmm. don't think I want to spend that kind of money. But you can bring home that cheap quilted bag that you could get for free if you are an Ipsy subscriber with those stupid blockbuster pieces that nobody likes and you can never sell. But, you know, this is how we're driving sales. Pink Friday's early this year. For one day only, when you place a qualifying order of 100 PV or more, you will receive the quilted velvet accessory bag stuffed with our five most adorable blockbuster pieces. It's not real velvet. It probably smells like plastic. It's probably plastic lined, and if it gets too hot, it'll crack and break. And starting at noon, Pacific Standard Time, okay, between 12 a.m. and 11.50 Oh, so it's all day. So if you do this all day. If you have a new team member who's joining, consultants who enroll in the small party starter kit or the large party starter kit will get three Pink Friday bumble bundles in their starter kit. But if you get the $99 kit, no, we don't give you fucking anything. You didn't buy enough. So this is a way to get consultants, new consultants, to spend $300 to get three of these stupid bundle kits. Really ridiculous, paparazzi, and you're starting to show your desperation just a little bit here, okay? So I'm going to share something else that one of my contributors uh, sent my way. This is from her Upline Elites. Good morning, team. It's Friday Junior, and I'm excited. Sell, sell, sell. What's my goal? Sell this jewelry. I know many are overwhelmed, but in order to not be overwhelmed, take action. Doing nothing gets you nothing and nowhere. So let's win on purpose. Relentless. Stay visible. Win. Thursday is a great day to reconnect and calibrate your inventory. Please start to take inventory of what you already have. If you are a legit business owner, you should already be doing that shit, okay? Just saying. It's good for tax purposes and also to see what you can sell. Try it. 
You are sitting on a gold mine. Enjoy your day. Are you really sitting on a gold mine? How many of us, how many of us, thank you Princess T for sending those to me. Those are great. Uh, how many of us sat on our gold mines because it wasn't selling? How many of us? I know I was. Here's a screenshot of someone talking about Pink Friday and the encouragement to get in your back office and buy 100 PV to continue sitting on that gold mine because, you know, owning paparazzi jewelry is like having money in the bank. Isn't that right, girls? Here's another one. Pink Friday. If those three short syllables make you feel faint, then you might want to sit down. Pink Friday is here, and we're ready to party. This is, this is something paparazzi accessories put on their website before they release the stupid video. I didn't fall for Pink Friday, one, because I wasn't in the country when I was a consultant uh, when Pink Friday happened. Where was I? I was in Germany. I was on the Rhine River with my husband, enjoying the Rhine. We were actually, I think, in the Black Forest on Pink Friday. So that was my saving grace. I didn't fall for it. So, yeah, the minky blankets... The minky blankets. This was my thought on them. If you, if you were a paparazzi consultant and you made it to a certain rank, say every, every director was sent that as a thank you from paparazzi. Thank you for making director or thank you for making executive director. If paparazzi sent those blankets to those who got them new recruits as a thank you gift, I bet that would go a long way in the public relations standpoint of paparazzi than um, telling them, hey, this could be you yours for the low price of $279 or $179, or you can buy both for $420. $420. Yay. It's just gross. And it blows my mind. And everyone's like, no, you don't understand. This stuff is so cute. No, it's not. It is not cute. I mean, it, it's not selling out. I know I haven't looked for a couple of days. I mean, the last time I did a paparazzi video was with Dave. And we posted it to the Facebook group. So if you are not yet a member of the Facebook group and you want to be in a drama-free space where we talk about stuff besides paparazzi, uh, you're welcome to join the group. The link is in the community page of my channel. But look what they're bringing out in silver. The Mr. T Pearl Fashion Fix is now available in silver. Because it's sold so well in gold. Right? I mean... Was that in November? No, it was an October one because I, I actually physically remember holding that. Oh, and look, other fashion fi fix sets are selling out or they're taking them down. I'm not sure, but yeah, interesting. So we have this fashion fix piece available in silver. Um, the stethoscope, that was a fashion fix piece. It came out in another color. Oh, the dainty square. Uh, Paradise pageantry, it's a corded thing. And again, it's been almost a full year since they took the lead and nickel free claims down and I started speculating, why are they using so many pieces with leather and cords? Well, here's another fashion fix piece that came out recently. Leave Her Wild, that was a fashion fix set in blue a few months ago. Okay, and then we see Summertime Tryst, again, stupid motivational stuff, again, ugly stuff, mm -mm. no. Oh look, now we have an elongated purple ring that Misty will probably call amethyst, but it's not real amethyst, it's just a purple stone, okay? And then the gold shit ring is still available. Hi, Ellie. What's up? What do you want? You've been out three times this morning. We're not going again. No. Do you guys see this? <laughs> no, we're not going right now. 
Uh, this one says rise and shine. All right. I guess they heard me when I said, are you going to bring out pieces for atheists? That must be a, a piece for an atheist. And then we've got the stupid hoops. Oh, look, Metro Pure. The fashion fix earrings in silver. Ooh. And then we've got ear crawlers, rose gold, stupid embroidered pieces, uh, the fuchsia that is just awful, and even more ugliness. Oh, look, now we have Thanksgiving threads. Yay! Thanksgiving threads, the same stupid chicken thing. We have combustible couture. No, I don't think so. But, you know, whatever floats your boat there, paparazzi. Oh, turn up the Lux. So they released them early and they haven't sold out. So those are going to go. I, I still think they're ugly and awful. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think they're pretty terrible. Oh, look, now we have the delicate silver things. Autumn harvest in delicate silver. Ew. Um, a copper court, courtyard couture. Oh, God. Celestial can, uh, candescence. It's it's a hair clip in rhinestones that'll get stuck in your hair and pull it out by the root. Yay! Uh, give me the give me the shine shimmers in purple. No, shiver me timbers don't. Ah, oh, so dumb, so dumb. Oh look, it's in copper. They're doing a lot of copper, you guys. They really like that warm metal for the holidays. Oh, that's awful. Grecian glamour in brown and gold. That's terrible, paparazzi. It looks like poop pebbles on a bracelet. Uh, the fake corsage. I stand all amazed. There was an I, I am a child of God one the other day. I think it sold out because it had iridescent rhinestones on it. I remember seeing that. Sorry, Mike. I'm back here petting Miss Demandy Pants. So... But yeah, uh, any new new releases today? Let's see what I picked out this week that hasn't sold out. I stand all amazed. The stupid thing, stuff that Misty showed. But yeah, it's not selling, you guys. It still ain't selling. And notice that the free gift with purchase still hasn't sold out. I wonder why. Hmm. So. There are no words, you guys. There just are no words. Besides, it's over. It's overpriced five dollar shit, and it's hyped up. And I don't see anything much selling out to get your one hundred PV to get your Pink Friday bag. Because I'm sorry, the stuff in the Pink Friday bag not really exciting. But that's just me. I'm gonna try and get this one uploaded before new releases. So have a good day, everybody. Thanks for joining me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new and you like my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. Bye.